Okay, then, so uh, tell us a bit about why you're here in Cardiff. Uh, I'm here today because I'm up the road in Swansea, appearing as King Arthur in Eric Idle and John Dupre's Spamalot. Mm-hmm. And uh, being in South Wales, I can't come to South Wales without coming here mm-hmm. to the oldest record shop in the world, Spinner's Records, in Cardiff. Mm-hmm. So okay. That's why I'm here. So what kind of stuff have you picked up here before that you wouldn't get in your average um, it's, shop? But it's, There's lots of kind of sort of off the beaten track uh, uh, Welsh music. I mean, Ashley, who, who works here, um, uh, and uh, a daughter of Nick Todd, who ran the place for years, she, I kind of, she's one of these people, you know, if you've got a mate and you sort of trust them, everyone's got this mate who always puts them onto amazing music, and Ashley is one of those people, and she, uh, she's just someone I can sort of trust implicitly with musical selection so I tend to come down here and I'll pick half a dozen things that I was after but I'll let her show me the rest and so there's stuff by local bands uh, there's uh, the Johnny album the Ross Child Norman Blake album um, what else have I got today I've got uh, Griff's film that he did um, and Griff's album because that came out this week I've uh, got some old stuff as well. I've got a Hendrix box set, which mm. is what i got, a uh, Chess Records box set, mm-hmm. which is old R&B and rock and roll stuff. So, so yeah, I mean, it's sort of... I mean, Spillers is just one of those shops where you come in and they don't only sell what's in stock. They'll track down stuff for you, you know. If You know, particularly people that aren't fully au fait with using the internet mm. to buy their music, like we all are now, and it's weird as people are so used to buying MP3s and what have you, but... Um, people that are into you know there was a, there was an old woman came in and was after something the other day mm-hmm. and they uh, she obviously had no idea how to use a computer but they tracked it down for her mm. a, rare, a Jim Reeves album I think it was so mm. so I think it's brilliant that they sort of do that kind of thing mm. as well so, yeah. so do you still prefer buying things like physically with yeah, a CD yeah, like that yeah. I'm kind of not into MP3s if it's something that I want to hear then I'll get an MP3 of it but if I just want to hear it, but it's a great difference between wanting to hear something and wanting to own it as well. So yeah. Okay. And you're into your Welsh music then? Uh, well, I, I've always liked uh, the Super Furries and and the Mannix and Helen Love. Uh, I'm a big fan of, and I used to uh, I, I know Keris, I sort of know the Catonia mob, and mm-hmm. so there's just a bit of a vibe down here, which is that any uh, any any city or area that that has a, a scene going. I'm always fascinated by how that scene has developed. So yeah, the South mm-hmm. Wales uh, band scene is uh, is something mm-hmm. I've, I've been into for a little while. Yeah. Okay. So what have you picked up today then? I have. Uh, yeah. I've got the uh, the Johnny album, which is uh, uh, Eros Charles. Um, I've got Griff's the Super Fairies, his um, Shampoo Hotel album. Oh God, what else? Yeah. It's all in the bag. I just picked them up. The Hendrix box set, the Chess mm-hmm. Records box set. Mm-hmm. Um, seven inch by one of the lads from Liam from our strap did a seven inch mm-hmm. with a Japanese dude I've got that uh, what else did I buy some I've got oh two uh, Griffrey's 12 inches um, Spiller's t-shirt this is like being on the generation game but <laughs> none of you will know what the generation game is okay. let me see if I can remember what else was there I mean there's like a Clash DVD mm. it's because I'm 48 and that's compulsory <laughs> mm. um uh, Griff's film, two copies, one for my mate, one for me. Um, oh, Lux and Ivy from the Cramps have done a compilation album of their favourite singles, uh, and that's really good. The Cramps record collection. So, um, lots. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A couple of hundred quid's worth. Mm-hmm. And what the fact that this is the oldest record shop in the world, does that sort of draw you to it? I mean, that was kind of, when, I, when I first came here, um, Phil Wilding uh, is a mate of mine, he's a writer, a Welsh writer, and uh, 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 works in the media. He first brought me down here, and um, he, t- he just told me a bit about the history when he brought me in, and it's ever since he brought me in, it's sort of, I've been quite sort of drawn to the place. So every time I come to South Wales, there's a stop here, basically because they make really good tea as well. Mm. Okay.